Well, good morning. Reaction has been pouring in since news of his death was made public by his family. He died yesterday after a short illness. Prominently displayed outside the United Center, the photo of the man who helped rebuild the Blackhawks into an NHL powerhouse. A very sad day for the Blackhawks and, and for any, anybody associated with the club. Former WGN Sports Director Dan Roan recalls the changes to the Blackhawks when Rocky took over after the death of his father in 2007, winning the Stanley Cup in 2010, 2013, and 2015. His father uh, passed away and had Rocky uh, take over the reins there in 2007 and really changed the entire culture of the whole thing. I mean, it was a tight-fisted uh, run with an iron fist by Bill Wirtz. And when Rocky took over, he went out and hired John McDonough and company and, and changed everything. Rockwell Rocky Wirtz was born in 1952 in the Chicago area. He graduated from Northwestern University. He worked at the Wirtz Corporation for his grandfather, who took full ownership of the team, Back in 1966, part of Rocky's legacy as CEO of the team is bringing old fans back to the Blackhawks in a post-Chicago stadium era. He also got the Hawks home games on TV. He will certainly be missed by a lot of people. His time on top, however, also saw the recent decline of the Blackhawks in the fallout of a sexual assault allegations made by a player about a former coach dating back to 2010. Still, Wirtz worked through it and started rebuilding the team once again, that along with leading a vast array of businesses, including his family's beverage company, developing the Fifth Third Arena and expanding the United Center campus. His son Danny said in a statement his father was a passionate businessman committed to making Chicago a great place to live, work, and visit, but his true love was for his family and close friends. Rocky Wirtz was 70 years old. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.